Have you ever wished you had a personal assistant who could answer your emails exactly the way you want? Most of us don't know how to code and building your own AI agent could sound like rocket science. Not anymore. Microsoft just released an amazing tool, a workflow automation agent that let you build your own AI assistant using pure natural language. No coding, no APIs, no stress. You literally tell it what you want, like reply to my emails, organize my tasks, and it builds the workflow for you. This is the moment where everybody can leverage the power of artificial intelligence to automate their workflows. So let's go ahead and jump in and build your first AI agent together. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I taught over half a million students worldwide. And on this channel, I help you learn AI, AI agents, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so here I have Microsoft Copilot open. And on the left-hand side, you have the ability to use existing artificial intelligence agents like the researcher agent, which can conduct research for you. You can also use the analyst AI agent as well. Think of it as a data scientist that can automate a lot of the data analysis and visualization and data cleaning for you. And what's amazing is now Microsoft Copilot just released the workflow agent. So if you go ahead and click on it, that's one way of opening it. Another way, if you can't see it here on the left hand side, is if you go to all agents, if you go ahead and click on it, now you should see if workflow frontier should be available for you. Please note that frontier meaning that it is still in a limited release. So it's not broadly available to the public. So if you can see it, please maybe wait a few weeks and then you should be able to see it here available. So if you go and click on workflows, so now you have the workflows agent that can help you build workflows and automate a lot of tasks for you. So what I'm going to show you today is a simple example where I'm assuming that you work as, let's say, a professor or a lecturer, and you are expecting emails from your students. And the idea here is, I'm gonna assume that students might email, let's say me, for example, asking me for a, an assignment deadline extension. So here the prompt that I'm going to feed it in, I'm gonna say, you are my deadline extension assistant. When a student emails me requesting a deadline extension, I want you to read the email, understand the request, and then draft a polite professional reply granting a three-day extension. Please note that here, this is a very simple use case. Of course, you can go and take it to the next level, kind of evaluate, for example, the request, and then you can maybe grant one day, three days, or maybe deny the extension if you think the reason is not good enough, for example. Clearly state the new due date and use a respectful supportive tone, of course, and end every email with the signature. And here I added my name as an example. And what I'm asking here, the workflow automation basically to do for us is I wanted it to directly reply to the email. OK, please note that this, of course, is a high risk. So what I'm doing here is I'm testing it on a dummy email and I'm not going to deploy it because it's going to start replying back to all the students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy that prompt here and I'm going to go back. And now I got the workflows here front here. So what I'm going to do is just going to paste that prompt in here. If you go ahead and click run, what you're seeing right now is you have that workflows frontier, basically agent building the workflows here for you. So now it's setting up the workflow plan name. It is selecting the supported email trigger. It is drafting the email reply. It's also adding the send email step as well. And look at this amazing tool. Without writing a single line of code, what we're doing, we're just explaining 
in plain English to AI what we want to do. And now the logic has been created here for you behind the scenes. If you are getting any value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button. It's totally free, but it helps us a lot. And if you'd like to go deeper, please join our free AI community on school. You can find a link in the description below. It's a great place to connect, ask questions and learn from others. As a bonus, when you sign up, I will send you all the prompts that we used in today's demo. So the trigger here is when a new email arrives, I want to draft extension reply. So when a new email arrives, if the email is a request for a deadline extension, I want you to draft a polite professional reply granting a three-day extension. And here, basically, it is going to send that email back to the student. So if you're happy with that workflow, you can simply click save and let's go ahead and that would be the fun part and test it out with real email. So here we go. So now you should see the workflow has been saved successfully. You can go ahead and click save here as well if you want. And what you could do is you can go ahead and test it as well. So please make sure after it's saved, you should see the testing here button enabled or active. So let's wait and see. Okay, so here we go. So now I can simply click on test and what you are seeing right now is you have the workflow right now being tested or under test. So really all I need to do right now is to simply send an email to myself. So I'm going to use another kind of email here and I'm going to send a sample email requesting an extension. And let's see if that workflow automation has worked or not. All right, so here we go. So now I drafted a dummy email. I'm assuming that email is from, let's say, Sarah. And I'm gonna say, okay, I hope you're doing well. I'm reaching out because I'm having a difficulty this week. I caught a bad flu and I would like to request an extension for the assignment. So here I added the email. So this is the email that is tied to my Microsoft Copilot account. And really all I need to do is to go and send that email. So I'm going to send email and now I'm going to go back. And now I should be able to see the workflow right now being triggered because I just received that email. This is the trigger that you should see here. And it's going to take a few minutes for it to run. But that's the idea is now the workflow is under test and it's just waiting to receive any email through my Outlook and you should be able to see the workflow being triggered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I will be back once it runs. So here we go. So now we should see the workflows being triggered. So the trigger came in. Now we should see a draft extension reply is being drafted. And please note that all of that is powered by artificial intelligence behind the scenes and of course GPT models behind the scenes. And now it's going to take some time for it to reply and actually send that email for us. And look at this. So now I already just received the reply here. And please note that this reply has been completely automated by artificial intelligence. Thank you for reaching out and letting me know about your situation. I understand that you have been unwell. I'm happy to grant you a three day extension. Okay, looks pretty good. And also added my signature here as well. How incredible is this? Please note that this is, of course, a very simple example. You can take it to the next level. You can add if else statements. You can also use it to scan your emails, send you all the action items for you. It can also help you schedule as well meetings. This is an incredible tool. Please go ahead, give it a try. And that's all I have for this video. And that's it. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any value from this video, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of AI tutorials and deep dives coming your way. And don't forget to join our free AI community where you can grab the prompts, slides, and connect with others building the future of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.